All right, so welcome to the final video, step number five, which is ultimately uh, where all of the magic happens, so to speak. So we've gone over creating the offer, then the creative, the graphic video that's going to allow you to stand out, the way to get that creative in front of the right people, then how to get those people from becoming interested into the database. Um, and then now it's up to the database. Now you do need a database system, whether that's MailChimp account, we recommend go high level. We have our own version called Web Connect IQ, uh, but it's go high level. It's just branded us so we can provide support and we can control uh, the uh, investment amounts and all that stuff. So that way we leverage it for our clients, but utilize that, look at that. Um, obviously you can do Clavio if you are an e-commerce brand. It doesn't matter, you need to have a database uh, it, that this can go into. If you need help with that, reach out and we'll be more than happy to help you with deciding what to get and what's going to be best for you. But once they get into the database, that's where everything is really going to happen. And all the relationship building, the branding, um, the conversions, a lot of that's going to happen from the database. And we just want to build that up month after month after month, because really the database is just a numbers game. You know, a certain percentage of your database, even if it's you're in an industry where it may just be one or two percent convert from your database, whenever you send out communications or each month, you know that one or 2% of 10 people is completely different than one or 2% from 100 people or 1,000 people. So the more you grow it, it just becomes a numbers game as long as you're following the steps and nurturing that database correctly. So the main thing that we want first and foremost is that whenever somebody opts in, if it's a coupon type offer, so like 50% off your first purchase, you've got 48 hours to utilize this, Give us your contact information so that we can send it to you for you to be able to utilize. So whenever they opt in, you want to have an automated email go out that emails them that coupon, maybe provide some more information, and you now have that immediate. They open it. That usually will get you going to the inbox from there on out and not going into spam. If you're doing some type of a giveaway or anything like that, just send out a confirmation uh, on that so that they get an automatic confirmation that they've opted in. Maybe that provides some more information, but you just want them to be able to open it. Uh, so that way you've already got some traction with getting into the inbox and not going to spam. Um, so you want to make sure that you're sending them something that gets them to open it immediately. Then you want to have an automated sequence, at least for the first three, five, seven emails that go out. And mainly one that you may want to do is something that we refer to as like story sequences that you set up in the first email goes goes out 24 hours and set up to go out 24 hours after they opt in. And it may be just a story about your brand, you introducing yourself or talking more about your products or your services and what makes you different. Then 48 hours later, they get another email. Maybe that's talking about uh, uh, an experience or how somebody used your, your product to get a good result or how you help somebody with your services. And you kind of tell that story. And then, you know, uh, a day later, they get one that's talking about how things are made or, or how you go about uh, providing your service and what that process looks like. So they're starting to get warmed up. They're learning more. They're becoming more engaged. Obviously, they're they're starting to trust a little bit more because it's all about those touch points. And this is all stuff that you just set up automatically on the back end. So you don't even have to worry about this. If it's a coupon that has a deadline, you probably won't have some communications that's talking about, hey, you've got 24 hours left to utilize your coupon. Don't miss out. Uh, one step as well that you may want to consider, this is a little bit more advanced, is getting an opt-in for text as well. Because one thing that you would want to do is if they've got 24 hours left to take advantage of a coupon they opted into, text is going to get you a better open rate every time. But you want to be careful with how you utilize text and, and uh, there's a thin line there. So make sure that you're following the best practices there. If you have any questions, reach out, let us know. But get them in the email. Obviously, you continue to warm them up with the sequence, you remind them if, if their deadline is coming up, if the contest or the giveaway announcement's coming up, you remind them that way as well through those automated sequences. Then after that's complete, the contest is run, you go through uh, everything where you send everybody else out an offer. If they didn't win, you follow everything that we've talked about up to this point. Then as you continue to grow and you grow your database, just making sure you have a plan in place to continue sending emails out, whether that's weekly, bi-monthly, monthly, whatever it is, just to stay top of mind, 
good value added stuff. Maybe it's just keeping them uh, on top and aware of what's happening in the market, or maybe if there's ways that you can help them and keep them up to date with certain things, or maybe you've got new products that are coming out or just new stories to tell, whatever it is, you want to continue to nurture that and stay in front of your database. And the more you do that, the higher the conversion rates will be, and you'll be able to then start seeing good uh, conversions happening from your database, so it'll be more profitable. And then also too, you're gonna to have a foundation built for your business month after month after month as that continues to grow, that you're always gonna be able to tap into. And that's why it is the most important asset to your business. So if you have any questions, or if you, if you go through this and you're like, I just don't have the time, or I don't wanna mess with this, I'd rather have somebody do it for me, reach out, we will do it for you. We've got programs that really fit any budget to get you started or get you growing and scaling and, and really depends on where you're at, what your goals are. But we will set all this up for you. And typically, you know, you're looking at stuff all in with ad spend and everything that you need under $500 for that, uh, especially if you're just getting started out. So, you know, there's ways to do it. We have a way that we can help you with that. Just opt in, schedule a call with us, and we'll go through. We'll let you know if it makes sense or if it doesn't make sense um, for you and, and is that going to help you hit your goals. But regardless, I hope that you're able to take this information, go run with it, see a lot of success. But if you have any issues, obviously, reach out to us, uh, get with support. We will help out any way we can, paid or unpaid. And if you need help implementing and executing on this, reach out, schedule a call, and we can get up and running usually within a week uh, or 10 days or so. So we look forward just uh, to hopefully staying in touch.